The Keep Smiling for Abbey Fund hosted their annual Day at the Derby event. The event took place at the Warren Center in Ashland. Attendees wore Kentucky Derby attire and helped raise money for the fight against anaphylaxis. Stephen Benford helped start the organization in honor of his daughter, Abby Benford, who passed away of an anaphylactic reaction when she was 15. The organization began operations in 2014 and last year donated $75,000 to the Weiss Institute Fund out of Boston to research anaphylaxis and develop an anaphylaxis auto detection and therapeutic device. We had a big year last year after this event. Your commitment convinced us that we could go along with this. We started our own 501c3. We funded scholarships at Hopkinton last year. We did a great field hockey event. And last year we donated $75,000 of your money to the Beast Institute to fund Project Abby. So thank you. My name is John Osborne. I'm an engineer, so I'm part of the Beast Institute, this organization you just heard about. And uh, last year at this event, we launched Project Abby in cooperation with Keep Smiling for Abby. And our goal is to develop and translate technology that could save the lives of people who suffer from allergies. The vision of Project Abby is to develop a, a wearable device, something like a wristwatch or a, a patch that you wear on your body, something comfortable that you can wear throughout your waking day. Here you can see some some concept sketches we've been putting together. The idea would be to wear this all throughout your day and it would listen to your body and detect the early onset of anaphylaxis and then it would alert you, alert your caregivers, your family. If you're a child, it could alert your teachers. It could perhaps dial 911 for you. And then as a last step, it could auto-inject epinephrine to save your life. Last year, Keep Smiling for Abby announced their first gift at this event, and they announced a second gift on Abby's birthday in December, and the V Institute matched that amount and more, and we've been, not only is that money much appreciated, but we've been putting it to good use. Sure, it's May 7th, Derby Day. Kentucky Derby runs later today. The Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation is doing a fundraiser at the Warren Center in Ashland. We have a couple hundred people here to, to drive our cause, to fight our cause, to stop anaphylaxis. This is our third spring event, our second Derby Day. We were here at the same venue last year. Yeah, we had great support. We were a little bit concerned about the weather, but people turned out anyway, uh, even though it's been raining all week, and we've got a great afternoon here. A lot of people in the room uh, really happy with the turnout. Uh, we've had a busy year. We, we became a standalone charity, nonprofit, 501c3. We did a uh, we gave $75,000 to the Beast Institute at Harvard University. They're working on a project called Project Abbey. The project is designed to make a, a wearable device that will detect and treat anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is an early, uh, anaphylaxis is an allergic reaction to food, medicine, latex, and insect things. 15 million people are at risk of anaphylaxis. And the Beast Institute is working with us to build a device that would resonate on board the body somewhere and continuously monitor physiological symptoms. Our goal is to fund research to save lives very near and dear to my heart. I have a peanut pitching allergy, um, just like Abby. And um, I wrote this song called Blurry Lives. And it's kind of about, you know, living in the moment and not letting anything kind of hold you back. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Take the look, be aware of all these eyes of life. Not by light, just by dark at this night. Talking.